by the enemy. All right, I'll say it again. We forgot we lost our ability to exercise the power in praise because we've been paralyzed by the enemy. The enemy has come to try and make it hard for us to do what we were created to do, but since he lost his power to praise, he wants to stop our power in praise. Uh, since the enemy won't praise God, he wants to stop us from praising God. Oh, y'all don't believe me? The Bible says it like this. The Bible says that Lucifer used to be the praise starter up in heaven. Lucifer would have the party popping for 24 hours and 7 days a week. He was the chief musician. He was the praiser up in heaven. Oh, y'all don't believe me. The Bible says in Isaiah 14, chapter 14, verses 11 and 12, and in Ezekiel 28, 12 through 15, that Lucifer had instruments built inside of him. He had instruments built inside of him that would put a nation on praise alert. He could sing you into a Holy Ghost fit and at the same time mesmerize you with his beauty. Nobody that you have ever heard can sing better than Lucifer. But Lucifer started looking at himself, thinking he was more than what he is and he forgot what he was created for and what he was created to do. Therefore, he lost sight of his purpose and he corrupted his own destiny. That's why you have to be careful and I'm going to tell you this while y'all sitting there looking at me. You got to be careful who you let try to minister to you because everybody does not want to see your destiny fulfilled. Let me tell you this, since y'all didn't like that, you got to be careful who you allow in your circle. You got to be careful who you allow in your space because everybody don't have your interests. Woo! Some people want to make sure that you never reach your full potential of praise. Some people, some people, they want to make cause, they want to make sure that they never see us praise God the way we should praise him. But I declare right now that the devil is a liar. Did, I, did you hear what I said? I said I declare over your life, Jason, that the devil is a liar. I said I declare over your life, Maria, that the devil is a liar. I shall do what I was created to do. I shall be what I look at somebody and say I shall be. Uh, I shall be. I'm afraid, uh, and, 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 and I got to get out of here. I'm afraid uh, that we've seen, heard, and encountered so much catastrophe in 2011 that it gave us spiritual laryngitis. It gave us spiritual laryngitis. Our vocal cords have been struck with temporary paralysis because we fail to use what we have. We fail to use what we have. The enemy uh, got us right where he want us. He, he doesn't want us to open up our mouths. He doesn't want us to open up our mouths because he knows that if we open up our mouths, he won't be able to handle the sound that will come out of our mouths. All right, let me say it again for the one that's on this row. Uh, if we open up our mouths, the devil, oh my God, he's going to get a headache because he's scared and frightened with the sound that will come out of our, let me try this side. The devil is scared with the power that you have in your mouth. Your vocal cords are very important. Your vocal cords are very important. Because the vocal cords are the, are, are the two small muscles within the, within the larynx and, and they are responsible for, for voice production. The problem is, is that Satan wants to take away our sound. Yeah, I got to get out of here. This is getting good to me. Satan wants to take the enemy, DJ. He, 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 he wants to take away your sound. Uh, okay. Uh, he wants to take away your sound. He wants to take away our sound of praise and cause us to be hoarse. He wants to cause us to be hoarse so our praise can be limited. Uh, and if our praise is limited, then we can't get nothing out. 
but I declare that what he took away in 2011 he will not be able to take away in 2012 because I'm going to use my praise as a weapon to tear down the enemy's kingdom look at your neighbor and say neighbor I got to use my weapon look at somebody else and say neighbor I got to use my weapon the Bible says that Paul and Silas went to pray and every time they went to the designated place to pray a damsel who was possessed with the spirit of demonation they kept she kept following them her master would use her bondage and her perversion to gain money the demon in her recognized who Paul and Silas was and she said you are the servants of the most high God that will show us the way to salvation Paul said although this demon recognizes the Christ in me you will not use your demonic possessions to earn money Paul said enough is enough it's time for you to be free and I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of her right now and the demon came out in the same hour when her master seen that Paul messed up their money and she could no longer operate in soothsaying they drug Paul and Silas before the magistrates the magistrates couldn't have their cities in an uproar so what Paul and Silas did it went against their customs and traditions they said how can Paul and Silas come into our cities with this real Jesus how can Paul and Silas come into the city with this Christianity that opposes our customs the magistrates tore their 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 clothes and ordered them to get beat they beat them and cast them into the dungeon they beat them and cast them into the inner prison Scotty they beat them and cast them into solitary confinement and they bound their feet with the stocks so they could not escape they put guards around the sails so that they make sure that none of them would get out Paul said even though we are hurting and even though we are in pain and even though we are suffering we still got an obligation to praise our almighty God look at your neighbor and say neighbor we still got an obligation uh, to praise God uh, look at somebody else and say neighbor uh, oh neighbor uh, we still got an obligation to praise God uh, and the Bible says uh, and at midnight uh, Paul and Silas uh, they prayed and sang praises uh, unto God uh, and the prisoners uh, heard them uh, apparently if other prisoners heard them they had to be praising very loud they didn't give God that cue praise like we do they opened up their mouth and gave him a Shabbat do I got anybody in here that I give God a Shabbat do I got anybody in here that'll praise God like you lost your mind do I got somebody in here that'll praise God like you going cuckoo for Cocoa Puff do I got anybody in here that'll praise God and make your praise a little louder a little louder a little louder the Bible said when they praise God that suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison doors were shaken and immediately because of your praise now the doors were open and everybody's bands were loose I came to tell somebody in here that even in the midst 
of your pain. You still got an obligation to praise. Praise the Lord. You got to open up your mouth and praise God like you lost your mind. Because when you praise God, God will free from 